Welcome to Kimball's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Forgotten Battle. So, uh, this seems like uh, it's a Netflix one that is spoken in a different language, which I'll look up. It's during World War II, 1944, where a Brit British glider, glider pilot, a Dutch boy fighting on a German side, and a Dutch female resistance all end up involved in a battle at Shadil. Their choices differ, but their goal is the same freedom. I don't know. Um, so... We'll see. I don't recognize anybody in it, and I just want to see what the language is, uh, which I should have looked up first, right? And it is, yeah, Dutch. Dutch, German, and English. So uh, hopefully it'll be all dubbed for us. We don't have to read. And one last thing. It is a 7.2 on IMDb. 11,872 people have rated it so far. It's a number two movie on Netflix right now. So that's why I picked it. Let's get into it, see what it's about, give you a better idea, see if it's worth watching. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Forgotten Battle. No check-in tonight, now, I'll kind of tell you why. A long film, you would think, hey, when's he going to check in? I'm dying to know what's going on in this movie, right? Um, but I was, uh, you know, I honestly, the beginning, the whole, almost, most of the movie... I wasn't bought into it. I wasn't, I was, so I think, so first of all, we have our three that they listed in IMDb. We have the Dutch soldier, we have the girl who is part of the resistance, and we have the, the Dutch glider pilot, I think, right? And I'm watching it, and there's other characters, of course, in this movie, and I'm trying to figure out who's who, and it was hard for me to tell who's fighting for the Germans, who's fighting for the Allied forces, Who's just regular, you know, and, and I got caught up in that because not dubbed, it was not dubbed you anytime they were speaking any other language, it was um, subtitled. And so I was watching it and I was like, I just, I just don't quite get who's who, what's going on here. Could have been the lack of paying attention or, you know, it just slipped by me, I don't know. But because of that, I started to lose a little bit of interest and it wasn't... You know, I went back and made sure I didn't miss anything, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't uh, hooked and, I, you know, and, 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 you know, really into the film, to be honest with you. Um, I was watching it, it was okay, and I was just like, you know what, I got to the point where I was like, I don't think I'm going to do a review on it, just because it hasn't held my interest, and I don't know if I know enough about it to, to talk openly about it. And, as you can see, I'm actually doing a review, and here's why, really around, with 20 minutes left. I made it through all of this. There's 20 minutes left. It started to click. <laughs> and, again, it could have been me. It could have been something, you know, that was going on with me. But it really it really started to click at the end. And now you think, now I'm thinking back through the whole film. So we have our, our Dutch person who's going to fight for the Germans. And, you know, you see part of his back history. Not much, but it's like, hmm, you know. Um... And all that kind of stuff really all starts to come together for you around the end of the film. Now, for a lot of you, you might have gone it throughout, and it would have been more enjoyable for the first, you know, hour and 50-odd minutes. But for me, it really started to click there. And then you can see, once it clicks and you see it all unfold, at least in my mind, it was unfolding the whole time and I just wasn't seeing it, it makes it a much better film, um, you know. I was like, yeah, it's just a, another war story, but no, this one was, was pretty neat, um, you know, about how they're trying to, you know, take down the Germans in World War II, and one of the obstacles they came up with, and how these three people kind of were involved in somehow, in some form or fashion, and how they kind of intertwine um, with, you know, everything that is going on. And uh, so I think they did a really good job of that piece. Um, I think they did a a good job now that I think about it, about the backstories and, and the development of these characters. Um, they didn't overdo it, and they did it just enough that when you finally get it, it makes a lot of sense. So, there you go. A little long film. Um, not sure what they could have done differently, but, uh, you know, maybe a couple, you know, arrows pointing at me. Here's the guy, here's that guy, here's that guy, but no. That was just, that was my biggest uh, um, issue because it didn't pick up on it right away. Um, so if I would have, I'm sure it would have been a lot better, but 
make it through. So my point in all of these ramblings are, if for some reason you do decide to watch this film and you're not as intrigued as you think you might be in the beginning stages of the film, but there's enough there to hold you until the end, stay with it. Because I do think it, it's a much better film once it reveals itself to you. Or maybe you'll get it the whole way through. Not that it's like a mystery. Um, you just... We just got to know who's who in the beginning, and then, then you're good. <laughs> so, I don't know. There you go. Um, hopefully I was helpful in some way. Um, stick with it is my best advice, and um, see where it takes you. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts if you haven't already. All right, subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends, and continue to tune in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.